a professor of communication and teaching English as a second language, Helen Bodunde has highlighted pedagogical method as a key issue in teaching both indigenous and English languages. Delivering the 91st inaugural lecture of the Federal University of Agriculture at Belkota titled Eliminating the Avoidable Gap Between Knowledge and Development, Professor Bodunde pointed out the vital role of language in education and its impact on student learning, adding that addressing the pedagogical challenges from the foundation was essential. She asserted that bridging the gap in comprehension caused by inadequate teaching methods could significantly enhance learners' ability to benefit from education. The university done, however, stressed the need to revisit and prioritize transitional bilingual education to enable migrants to function effectively both domestically and internationally. Supporting the inclusion of listening skills training at all levels, Professor Borden Day suggested integrating it into orientation programs for new students to improve comprehension. That language of education must be revisited to review transitional bilingual education. But transitional bilingual education is what we use. But we need a maintenance bilingual education where both indigenous languages and English language will be given adequate functions to, 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 to perform so that students and parents will, let, will encourage their children to speak both. The situation we have in Nigeria now is that they are in between two worlds. They cannot lay claim to any. They can't speak English very well. They can't speak their mother tongues very well. Teacher development at all levels should be more intensive. A contrastive analysis should be a compulsory course for language teachers in training at all levels, while listening skills should be taught at all levels of education to students. Institutions should provide an enabling learning environment for language teaching. And um, for language teaching, and as much as possible, language lab must be provided in more universities. And uh, finally, that other content teachers should not be left out in the training and retraining of themselves in the language of education so that they can impart very well their students. Issues in language learning are pedagogical because the teachers have to do more. They have to be more competent. Even teachers of content areas, you use language, you know, to teach your courses. We're not blaming you. The foundation was poor, but you can work 